Okay, so here's another example for hacker this time. So to start with, we are going to be wanting we're wanting to be built up to Shaker eventually, although it is not as needed on this deck as it is on Crew Chief and Stoic. We are going to be wanting to get Bullseye for armor gating. And Hardware Expert Basic as well to be able to fix drills faster. And I can cover Ace this time, as Hacker is a dodge deck, so the 10% increased chance to dodge while sprinting is actually useful. We're also going to be wanting to get Second Wind and Optical Illusions to be targeted less and nine lives aced. We're also going to be wanting to take some converts and building up the hostage taker. So that's with partners in crime aced, confident ace, joker basic and then hostage take aced. And as it is a health perk deck I would generally take first aid kits with uppers. And also scavenger basic as it helps to get to ammo that would otherwise be inaccessible and just helps you keeps your ammo topped up in your weapons. So with this build here I'm going to be doing an overkill aced assault rifle build with the Union 5.56 and the locomotive shotgun. First of all we're going to modify the, and as it's assault rifle build, we want to be taking the profession aced, low blow aced, and unseen strike basic, steady grip aced, lock and load basic, and sure fire basic. Just note that with assault rifles, the Union has a speed pull magazine, so its reload time goes down quite low. However, other assault rifles, for example, the Lion's Roar, if I can find it here. Does not have that option. So, generally, I would say for a gun like the Lion's Roar, also ace lock and load to be able to reload reasonably quickly. And as it's an overkill ace build, we want to be saying underdog basic, shotgun CQB aced, close by aced, overkill aced, and this will give a massive damage boost to our assault rifle here. And then with two points, I'm probably just going to take Transporter with the loose points I have left. Now obviously this build doesn't have Inspire, but you have got stun with the pocket ECMs and you've got a lot of killing power with these two guns to be able to clear out areas to get manual revives. Now with the Union, you're going to not be wanting to take the short barrel, as it gives you an accuracy penalty. And as you'll see, we're going to need all the accuracy we can get. You also need the bigger the better suppressor, again for accuracy and C and stability boosts. You'll want an accuracy boost here. You will not be wanting this as it gives you accuracy penalty. Gadget is again optional. Lower receiver is optional but you can't fit it on this one and keep concealment. Speed pull magazine for the extra reload speed and then a sight to get to 100 stability. And then for a gadget, again, it's optional, but I like magnifier gadgets. Now as you can see our concealment's quite high, so we're going to have to conceal the locomotive quite well. Dragon's Breath Rounds is there, generally the most useful for activating overkill aced. No barrel extension. Concealment boost, I can't remember actually. Um, straight grip for the extra concealment. Extended magazines, there is no downside to using it. No sight. You'll want to use the tactical shorty stock, again for extra concealment. And then that gets you to 23 detection risk. And then you can put a negative accuracy boost on it to help hit more enemies at once. So again for hacker, you'll want to get hostage taker. Generally, you'll definitely want converts. Generally, you'll want uppers with first aid kits. This is an overkill ace build, so I've just gone with typical shotgun tree. You can also do this if snipers are causing you an issue, but they shouldn't do with a 100-100 assault rifle. Bullseye, die hard. Again, just as two very, very useful skills. Hard to but basic to be able to fix drills. Lock and load and sure fire. And steady grip paste. Generally with assault rifles you will want surefire aced if you're not doing overkill as you lose a lot of damage 
without it, but with Overkill you can one or two shot most units in the game, so you don't need Surefire as much. Duck and Cover Aced as it is a dodge deck. Note how I don't take Sneaky Bastard as it costs 28 points to get there, and it's just not worth it. I also don't take Parkour as I'm using Suit and you would not notice the difference with Partners in Crime Basic. And Nine Lives Ace, so you don't have to go to a Doctor Bag as much, and then Crits just because they're overpowered, they give you a massive, massive damage increase. That is generally how I would build for. Oh, yeah, and First Aid Kits here. And again, as it's not a deck where I've taken Bloodthirst, I would generally take a Buzzer here, or Electric Brass Knuckles. And again, Bot Boosts. And then here I'll take Distractor, as it's a dodge-based Berk deck, so this is going to be more useful. And that is generally how I would build for Hacker.